Let's get going. All right. Hey, everybody. So it's uh, episode two. This is Cliff. I'm hey, Kelly of It'll Be Fine. And we're making coconut madeleines today. Like, like from the movie? No. Oh. I'm sure this recipe isn't a movie, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's quite possible. I didn't do my research on where this came from other than opening this book. Barefoot Contessa in Paris. Fun fact about this book, I used to date this guy named Marco. Okay. And his mom had this book and she never let me borrow it. Whoa. Yeah. So it's like a family. It was like, she just would not let me touch this book. She's like, you're not good enough to cook good food for my son. She didn't think I was good enough, period. Uh, I mean, that's another story. That's another whole other show, to be honest. That's what, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's what Dr. Phil is for, right? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Maybe this will come out when we have our Madeline's that, later. That'd be, that'd be a fun, whole new show if, like, Dr. Phil just starts doing a chef show, like a cooking show. That would chef be good. Phil. Chef because he's not a doctor either, so... <laughs> no, we should pitch that. To Dr. Dr. Phil. Phil. He'd, have get to, on he'd have to get a hairnet for the mustache. <laughs> a must... A must net. A must net. It, it, it does a exist. Mus it, mush net? It does exist. It's just mustache a hairnet. It's a face net. I face think. net. Maybe. You just... Face net? That sounds very BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting carried away again. Wow. <laughs> this show is off the rails already. <laughs> And it's been a minute 30. Great. <laughs> cool. Um, so the point of this show is that we make something we've never made before. Right. And have you made coconut madeleines before? I have not touched my oven in years. <laughs> Amazing. Do you use it as like a, a storage unit? Um, actually, no. I like I cook like uh, like a baked chicken. That's what okay. we do. Baked chicken. All that's right. kind well, of what that's we good. do. Uh, the last time I made like a pastry sort of thing yeah. was testing out that... Uh, you know, there's like a recipe on the internet. Like, if you want to make a quick cake, yeah, you take you take the box cake and like a, a, a can a of quick coke. Cake. Yeah, yeah, it's and it's like super light and fluffy, but like really bad for you. <laughs> so I think I made one of those like <laughs> two years ago as like a real like quick emergency. Amazing. Like people are coming over. Yeah, and I need to Get make it look like I'm prepared. You know? Yeah, yeah. I sometimes done that like buying things and then unwrapping it. If I'm being really that's cool. Like, I wanted the house to try. smell like I baked it. You know, That's I was There are those. candles for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hold there. Oh my god, there are candles to help you lie to your friends about how much cooking you do. I like I like the oh best. So I got this uh I have a tiny apartment. That was fast. But I got this candle in Vegas. Fresh bread. <laughs> it's not fresh. <laughs> it smells amazing! It, it does smell. That smells like a loaf. It smells. Trust me. Well, it smells like when you light it. Like yeah, it'll it smells it'll smell like the inside of like a portery, a Portuguese bakery. Yeah. Like on one day. Which has a Latvian girl. I yeah. want my apartment to smell like. Yeah, is that a thing? Not really. I am Latvian, but. Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> Latvians love. The, there's so many stereotypes I'm learning today. There really are. Quebec just crowd love. Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. Latvia's a little Portuguese bread. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start that rumor. <laughs> I was just in Latvia. They were all over the place. Yeah. They were yeah. not. They really weren't. Um, but anyways. So this recipe seems pretty simple. Um, we've got our ingredients here, which you guys can't see, but trust me, they're here. We've got them. We've got them. Uh, very important for this recipe to get a tray with the madeleine shape. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could try doing it in a muffin tin, but then you would just be making muffins. Yeah. Oh. And if you watched right? episode one, where Janice and I tried to make apple pie bars, we just made a pie. <laughs> we made one large bar. We just made bar. one large bar. <laughs> one large bar. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to invest in one. I went down to a Tap Fung, I believe it's called. It's uh -huh. on Spadina. It is like the craziest. <laughs> It is the best grocery baking store I don't oh, shop yeah. anywhere. It's like yeah. Disneyland for grown-ups. But I know it's amazing. Is, is in Chinatown, by the way. So that's where they make yeah. everything. They make everything. You probably could have just bought some Madeleines in Chinatown. <laughs> I could have bought them at the Starbucks at the corner, oh, really? but I'm not doing it. We're no, going to make them. We're going to make them. All right, so let's get this together. We have our KitchenAid behind me. Have you ever used a KitchenAid? I have seen them used. Uh... <laughs> This is this is the sort of thing that you see in commercials. <laughs> uh, that's about Amazing. it. Amazing. So our ingredients for today, simple stuff. We need eggs. 
We need butter and make sure your butter is unsalted. Oh yeah. If you use salted butter, uh, don't add salt because then you're just giving your oh. dish more salt. So it's just going to be like Gatorade cookies. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yeah. sounds disgusting. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Have you made those? No, That's gross. No, no. Um, <laughs> all right. You need sugar. Um, these are coconut madeleines. So I bought some coconut sugar, Ooh, which prior till two hours ago, I didn't know was a thing. I didn't even know it was a fucking thing. That's... But I spent $8 on it. Oh, jeez. So. I'm embarrassed to admit that, you need but to start I did. Selling these, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're gonna need vanilla. Ta da! We will need flour, all purpose. Um, I'm hoping we have enough, but if we don't, uh, it should be fine. I have coconut flour. Coconut, just go overboard with the know. coconuts. We're just gonna do this up, man. It's gonna be like we're on a beach. Take some coconuts and add <laughs> some more coconuts. Uh, when you finish adding your coconuts, put it in a coconut and uh, bake it inside of a bigger coconut. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> need cornstarch. Yeah. We're gonna need some baking powder. Mm -hmm. uh, we need kosher salt. Um, now, when Janice was here, uh, she blessed my salt, so now it's Jewish. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. That's that's great. That's great. Uh, I'm sure it's wrong that we even did that, but what else? I'm very sure it's a thing. I'm very I think it's sure a thing. It's a thing. Uh, I have unsweetened coconut. She calls for sweetened coconut. Mm -hmm. Oops. So didn't have, have it. Coconut sugar Whatever. It out. Yeah. Um, and then we have some icing sugar at the end to dust on top. Ooh, loud. So these are going to be freaking amazing. And yeah. just for fun, I have an orange if we want to grate some orange zest oh. into this. Mm. Who knows? Schmancy. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to beat the eggs, the sugar, and the vanilla in the kitchen. Okay, the so thing. Okay. We're going to take this out. We're gonna get some eggs. We're going to get some eggs. How many eggs? Three. Three eggs. A uh, little tip when you're doing eggs. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you crack them out first. <laughs> I've, I've learned this. <laughs> Don't put the eggs in whole. Yeah. They won't work as well. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> for the fuck Yeah, no, you gotta Exactly, do you gotta eggs. do that. Uh, when you're cracking your eggs, crack them together. Apparently it's better for the egg to do this. And you crack them first. I think the best thing for the eggs is to let them hash. Hatch? Hash? hash? Yeah. Like hash Richard eggs. Hash? Hash your eggs. Hash your eggs, guys. I like a hash. A breakfast hash is delicious. Hash eggs. Exactly. One egg. So, so, so on the on the on the on the last one, what do you do? Egg, what do you do? That's a good question. I don't know. This, I'll this take is that interesting. One. Yeah. So that's, crack that uh, open I've, I've always been a crack my own eggs sort of guy. You know, to be honest. <laughs> this one, just throw it on the floor. Yeah. I'm yeah. kidding. I don't know. Do you get another egg? It's a weird... I think that, yeah, they're expecting you to always have one egg you're not going to use. <laughs> just one egg for beating. Yeah. Just a, just keep a hard That egg, egg has low self-esteem. In your... <laughs> you're going to wash my Eat your <laughs> eggs, guys. Just beat them. <laughs> All right. What else do we need in there? Um, the eggs, the sugar, the vanilla. All right. So get the vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. How much vanilla? Vanilla um, is always like a spare. Yeah, you need a teaspoon. You never want more. You never want too much less. Vanilla is one of the first things that I yeah. start. Wait, hang on. I'm way too tall for this. You are too tall. There we Here go. we go. Move it Perfect. back. We have uh, no camera operator. Nice. It, isn't that sort of thing that you measure over the thing? Yeah. I don't know. I don't vanilla know. is one of the first things that you learn uh, about how smell doesn't directly correlate to taste. Yeah. Cause that is true. It's it was such a huge thing because a lot of people took vanilla and like everything back in Guyana. So it's, this was like oh. everywhere, and I was like, oh man, smells so great. Yeah. And I went. I took my money. I bought a bottle of vanilla, and I'm like, damn, I'm just gonna drink this. And no. I, and, yeah, oh, yeah. don't do that. Uh, no. Uh, you learn. You learn real quick. Oh my gosh. But then from then on, I I was like, start putting in my like my tea and stuff like that. Yeah. That works. Or what you can do is if you're on your way out, like say you're making these for someone you care about yeah. or you're on a first date, yeah, dab a bit behind your ears. You smell so good. 100%. Bring Amazing. back the 40s. Um, <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. I have enough vintage stuff in my apartment. It's right here. That can won't be a problem. <laughs> can you imagine? You're just like, all right, uh, bring Time back the, the prohibition, guys. <laughs> Let's exactly. do it. 
Well, it's sober October, so kind of. It kind of brought it. Are you sober October? I I would do it on the condition that I would I would be allowed to like rent out my liver. Like if I could Airbnb <laughs> out my liver, then I would do it. It would make sense. I'd be like, all right, cool, I'm sober, guys. But yeah. I think it, it makes because like, oh man, everything the rent prices here in Toronto are crazy. They are bananas. Can you imagine? They, they are bananas. Renting out your liver? I'm pretty sure it would it would fetch like a, above market price. You when we liver. when we put these in the oven, we'll Google that. We'll go yeah. If you can rent it's out your liver. Definitely a thing in Latvia. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we like our booze. We like our booze. All right. Uh, two thirds of a cup of sugar. So we need two of these guys. Two oh two, two of them. Two thirds. Yeah. A spoon. Yeah. Hi. Oh wow. That so is... yeah. So we're using coconut sugar. I have no idea if this is a good thing. Wait. Hang on. What? Oh, I, okay. There's a better All way right. to do this. I'm sure. Maybe if you put that down. Yeah. We're yeah. pros. L listen, we guys. Uh, we are out here. Yeah. Uh, comedian chefs extraordinaire. <laughs> Um, we can bring this to an open mic tonight if we This is one. the sort of thing that would yeah. completely raise the spirits. It was the boss's birthday any, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Is he did. doing a, He does have his mic tonight. If you right. guys are free and you're comedians, you want to go to some Mondays. open mic comics. Yeah. Uh, it is Mondays, not far from here, actually. No, it's uh, St. Clair and Christie. St. Clair, yeah, St. Clair. Not to uh, divulge exactly where I live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Same. Don't. Don't come here I'm not expecting, giving out my address. Yeah, don't come here expecting to get Madeline's at every <laughs> hour of the night, guys. That's not Although hard. I will, I made, um, what did I make the other night? I made tacos uh, yeah. for my friend Jay Hunter, who popped by Bridget. Jay Hunter's pretty funny He's a guy. great guy. Very funny guy. Uh, and he likes tacos. Just don't put pork in them, as I almost did. Really? He does need pork. Pork and tacos, though. So I, I made heard. cauliflower tacos. Listen. They were really good. You can't get more Toronto. They were really good. All right. <laughs> so we are going to mix this together. Yeah. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add in the butter. We're going to put our flowers in a mix. Um, so we'll do that and then we will come back and we'll get the oven ready. So we're going to take a quick break. It's upside down. I do this all the fucking time. No, it's great. It's uh. <laughs> It'll be fine. Back in five. It's gonna However, be good. it won't matter to you. It won't matter. You don't time know. Time is. Okay, guys, we're uh, we're back quickly here on. It'll be fine. Ah. Smell the orange. For a second, I thought that was baking soda, yeah. and that would be weird. Baking soda. Oh, I'm baking sure it's soda. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna uh, show you what to do next. So we've mixed the liquids. Um, what we have to add next is the butter, and we need a how much? We need a tablespoon and a half, or melted butter. Much? One and a half tablespoons of melted butter. There we go. To, oh, that's to grease, grease the, the pan. pan. Oh. Now, fun fact: if you're ever wondering how much butter is that, there's a measurement on it. Yeah, like on the butter. This is blowing my mind. Wow. Blowing my mind. Uh, unless you use uh, vegan buttery sticks. Yeah. Um, it just comes in a bucket, so I don't know. <laughs> We had that on episode one with Janice. We couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're adding the butter to the mix. It needs to be melted and cooled. So what? a half a pound is one stick. So we're going to toss this in the microwave like geniuses. And then put it in the fridge? Uh, we'll just leave it to the side for a <laughs> second. <laughs> and then we're going to sift together the flour, the cornstarch, the baking powder, the salt, and we're going to stir it in with a rubber spatula. Nice. Like my tiny. Yeah, this is a. Tiny. This is like a model. And tiny. This is like a model spatula. This is like. It's because I'm wee. I mean, look at my pumpkin. Aww. This is almost like this is a, this is a reflection of like your living conditions. Like, oh, rent's crazy. I can't have a full size. <laughs> I can't even have a full size spatula, guys. <laughs> no. I can't afford a full size spatula. What are we mixing in? So what I'm gonna do is melt the butter. Melt the butter. Uh, and if you're ever melting butter, do it in increments. Like don't do it for yeah. like a full minute, do like 20 seconds. It'll burn. I learned that. Yeah. Also don't put steel or metal in a microwave. I yeah. learned that. I've been doing that this whole time. I you're not supposed to. Mm. It's fine. All right, so I'm gonna be a bit rebellious. We're gonna add the dry ingredients while we do the butters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so get the flour there yeah. and measure out. Uh, we need one cup of all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. Yeah, that's um, the biggest one. Oh, that's the big cup. Yeah, it's a big cup. Big cup. That feels like a good 
good nickname. Big cup. Big cup. What's in my cup? Where what's in my cup? I'm always drinking out my cup. That's a. I can't remember what year that's from, but it is very much a song. <laughs> I will trust you on that. It's very much a, no a hip hop song where everyone <laughs> thought that they were cool. Uh, like it's very, yeah. it's very interesting to watch like college age people think that they're discovering shit. <laughs> you know. Yes, that is very true. I look forward to someone discovering VHS tapes again. Oh man. It's gonna happen. Or even like people think that they made up beer pong or shit like that. <laughs> Does someone think that? Yeah, you made that up, really? There's a few people who are like, oh, this is a thing, they only do it in colleges. I'm like, no, but, like... It's called drinking. Have you not no, watched okay. any movies for, like, 20 years? <laughs> really? All right, so we have melted the butter. We put a cup of flour in there. We have... Oh, great, there was enough! Yeah, Yay! a whole lot of flour. Amazing. Whew. All right, so I was complaining that I have a tiny kitchen, and Cliff says I don't. This is a palace. You don't even understand <laughs> what's happening right now. You have a boombox in the corner here. I can't... Oh I, my ge God. I genuinely do. Yeah, there's a legit... Oh, look. What? Like, look at that. Yeah. I still, uh, it's still 19, uh, the 1990s it's here in my house. It's still the 90s around here, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Feels like. You have calendars have, everywhere. I've got calendars. Yeah. Um, I do have the VHS machine. And I still go to a video store. Yeah, yeah. The VCR. Ooh, loud. I don't rent VHS tapes, though. You I'm, can't, I'm pretty sure they'd call the police if you were renting I'm VHS. I'm pretty sure I would get arrested yeah, yeah. for that. Um, yeah, like exposure you know public exposure so we're adding cornstarch is yeah what this is uh yeah so we need no this is baking powder all right uh for the cornstarch we need a oh. quarter cup it's nice when a cookbook gets like marks on it that's yeah, like it's, it's, it's loved luck. yeah it's nice yeah. it's we christened the book mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so take well, that's that what that is yeah and then we need the quarter cup which is that guy yeah um and yeah we will just let the butter cool we'll pop this open so yeah so in the last episode of It'll Be Fine, we also did a Barefoot Contessa recipe. So I feel like I'm starting a theme now. <laughs> what, that's that's this book? It's her. It's the same. No, not the book. I found a recipe online. Yeah. But it was a Barefoot Contessa thing. Nice. Which is funny. One day, she'll follow me on Twitter. One day. One day. One she day. will. You could just make something just and send it so to much. her. <laughs> Why is she barefoot? Um, it was the name, she used to work for the White House. I can't remember what she did at the White House, but she quit her job, like very spur of the moment, and and um, bought a restaurant like, or like a bakery in somewhere on the East Coast. Was this during the current administration? She, no, oh, I believe. Oh, yeah, like a breakdown? I think like, it was during like Carter or something. Or, oh, like, like it was back in the day. Time. But, yeah. But she oh, walked no. away from... <laughs> A lot, a lot on Wash your hands. Yeah. But she walked away from her job and got into food because she loved cooking. You know what? That's good. That's, that's amazing. That's what everyone wants to be able that. to do. Yeah, know? exactly. Everybody's like, oh, I'm going to, you know, do this soul-sucking job for 30 years and rack up a lot of money and then just go do what it, what it is that I That's what do. I did. I worked in television production for many, many years. I worked yeah. at CBC. I stole my desk ID. <laughs> Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Yeah. Uh, so your tax dollars yeah. made that. Um, but I started waitressing in my 30s. Yeah, yeah. And I did like a whole 180. Yeah. So it's possible. You can do it, guys. You can do you it. You can do it. All right. Go be a waitress. <laughs> Go be a waitress. You know what? That job changed my life. Anything you. That job. That was I one of the it. best decisions I ever made. Yeah. Um, okay, baking powder. We need half a teaspoon. So I got that. Putting that in. Nice. All right. Um, and now some salt. Some blessed salt. Our blessed salt. Um, how, how much salt? I I do have my dreidel, but I don't think that'll help bless oh, the I salt. The salt. <laughs> uh, eyeball it. It was like a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I know. So a quarter teaspoon, if you're ever wondering, is like, it's not a lot. It's this little guy. It's like the, uh, the thing you wash your so eye with. Kind just of. do like a couple. Okay. Couple spurts. That's good. Well, Chaim. Um, oh, wait. I don't know. <laughs> Please don't shut us down, Hollywood. Please. Um, <laughs> so now we're gonna add the butter. The melted. And the melted and cooled butter. Kind of cooled. It's kind of cooled. Yeah, it's got shades on. Yeah. Exactly. This butter is hip. It's cool. 
I shouldn't say that. Ever. <laughs> no, that's that one's for you, actually. Yeah, you say hey. If you say the butter was lit, I'm pretty sure. Hey, I'm wearing a shirt with a dog and a tuxedo. Yeah. So. Somebody would report your channel. I'm cool. <laughs> All right. Cliff, you're gonna mix this with a spatula. Nice. I'm gonna do and then that. we're gonna stir in the coconut. Yeah, anything to like tie my hair with? Uh, it's fine. I could get you a hairnet. I could get you a hat. Oh. You're fine. Yeah, I think I'm okay. It'll be fine. We're. Uh, this is not for uh, commercial use. As no, say. exactly. Oh, this is. This feels good. Does, it's therapeutic. It really is. That's why I was like. I make pancakes, not even to eat pancakes, but to just like smell them. You I know? like being in a kitchen. I truly, truly do. Um, so to bake these guys, you need your oven at 375 degrees. So I'm going to turn the oven on now. Oh yeah. We'll need a few minutes You're to switching get... hands. Your mans are ambidextrous, fam. Yeah. Oh shoot, I made a noise. Sorry guys. Don't worry about it. We can edit that out, right? Yeah, edit sound Exactly. Out. With my crack production staff. They already know. Alright, I'm gonna put these in the living room. Right CBC now. skills. <laughs> oh, this. Okay. This is starting to feel good. This is starting to feel very Madeline. I should have asked earlier. You're not allergic to coconut, are you? Uh, no. Good! <laughs> if I was allergic to, hate, to coconut, that would be hate crime. I'm pretty sure. Like, if <laughs> I would have to call my parents up, uh, have the <laughs> Supreme Court on the other line, be like, why did you do It would this be a problem. Me? It would be a problem. Always make sure. Yeah. You know, I was in Latvia not too long ago. Nobody asked any restaurant I went to if I had any allergies. Or any sensitivity. They served or, peanuts on the airplane. Yeah, yeah. No, they still do. It's honestly it just North America because yeah. we love suing people. Yes. That's all it is. It's true. It is true. So we have our uh, unsweetened coconut, which is not what the recipe calls for, but. Going off the road. It's going to be fine. It'll be. We're sweet enough. Huh. Did you just huh. hear my stomach grumble? Oh, this smells so good. It smells <laughs> so good. Alrighty, how much coconut do we need? We need a third of a cup of sweetened coconut. Did you just lick the bowl? I did not. You have to wait till after. Oh, okay. Although now they say you're not supposed to lick the bowl, but I lick the bowl constantly. They're, they just don't want you to enjoy your life, you know? Yeah. So. I was the kind of kid, even as an adult, I'm like, what's that on the counter? Oh, that yeah, wasn't fair. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> Do that right. all the time. It's I'm fine. And so, yeah, sometimes Nothing's you get something. Wrong. You get it's like a birdie bots for real life. You know, <laughs> you don't know what it's gonna be, but you have to find out. And the exactly. best way is to try. Yeah, it's almost like uh, because like the the nerves in your tongue are so sensitive. Yeah. You know, you put something in your mouth, and you can tell what it is. Exactly. You can't really like look at it that exactly. way. It's interesting. I think this is good. Is I that think great? we're super good. <laughs> And now we're gonna stir in the coconut, so you're gonna nice. do this a little yeah. more. So yeah. I'm gonna chance for that. Yeah. When making madelines, have a great assistant. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm learning. I'm uh. <laughs> I am I am mixing this with both hands because equality, you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's how that works. Exactly. So for this little tray, we need to thoroughly grease. And flour. Ooh. I know. That sounds sexy. It sounds a little, a little the, sexy. Grease the tray, guys. Ooh, loud. You have to make sure it's okay first. Yeah, Ask like, for consent. Who's tray? Like. Ask for consent when greasing your tray. <laughs> All right. I'm just using the butter from the bowl. Yeah. Oh, that's um, smart. I mean, the recipe should say that. Should it not? I don't think any uh, cookbook or like recipe is all about like conservation. It's never. No. If you ever watch cooking shows, it's so annoying to me how much they waste. It oh is. my god! I used to watch Paula Dean. She was one that didn't waste a lot. She was no, like, she, she was didn't. Very, she, no, she was like a real old town like cook. Yeah. You know? But like oh, Rachel was. Ray would waste so. I can't remember that. There's another guy. <laughs> he's like uh, he's like Spanish or whatever. Jose Andres. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. And he would he would make a lot of spaghetti. Was it Emerald? Emerald. Yeah, he like, said bam. He's like fat. He's large. Um, but I was in New Orleans and I went to one of his restaurants and I cried. It was so good. Yeah. Have you ever had a meal that made you cry? Because um, it was so good. No, no, that's never happened. <laughs> I've not cried over food yet. I cr I teared up over meals. I would like to. I would very I, much like to. I just love food. I really do. 
got some um, on my finger there. It still tastes good. It tastes good, guys. Uh, I'm using the coconut flour to flour the tray Ooh, to add us some more coconut. Um, I also had coconut oil here too, but we don't need that. You don't. You don't use that for cooking. No. <laughs> People who say they do, you don't. You know? <laughs> I've used it for coconut, not cooking. Coconut, coconut yeah. oil is for literally everything else. Like yes. Yeah, coconut yeah, oil instead of true. WD forty, guys. That's just what I'm saying. It's the greatest thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this coconut. is good. We're. Does that look oh, good? I don't know. I gotta show this. Yeah. Look Ooh, at that. Oh, that looks Ooh. fantastic. It looks like crunchy peanut butter. It too. really does. Yeah. But it's it smells like amazing. Coconut, coconut peanut butter. All right, yeah. and we have floured. I don't want to go everywhere, but we have floured and greased our tray. It was okay with our doing that. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I keep mentioning that. I don't know why and I'm still mixing. I you just, can uh, stop. Yeah. It's, I know. Okay, so now it says with a soup spoon, which I don't know. This I, is weird. That's a fork. Yeah. I'm not going to bring a she fork out. She a fork instead of a soup spoon. It was very strange. But I've got this, which I eat soup with. I think it's just like they're like it's supposed to be round. Is that what they want? I don't think it matters. I, I don't think it matters. I think the whole point is to fill the shell until it is almost full. Okay. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna put them in the oven. It's gonna go in at three seventy five for ten to twelve minutes, depending on your oven, because some ovens just have a different philosophy yeah. on life. <laughs> I just want to do things a different way. Some ovens, <laughs> some ovens pray to a different God, a different yeah. heat God. Yeah. So, uh, depending on your oven, but we are doing the coconut madeleines, uh, barefoot contessa, and we will be back on. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. All right, we're paused. Oh, okay, we're back. Hi. So, uh, we're taking the babies out. Our little cocos. Little cocos. Ah. It looks so good. But we're gonna do a little test, uh, as you always should, just to make sure they're cooked through. Feel a little toothpick. And just test the center. Anytime you're baking, you want this toothpick to be clean. If it's got stuff on it, it's gotta go in a little bit longer. Pretty good! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I just poured the toothpicks over everything. <laughs> this is luck. a comedy baking show. That, and, is, uh, <laughs> that is good luck. It must be. Woo! Madeline's! Yay! It smells so good. It right really now. does. You have to dance. dance. Yeah. Look at it. We got okay. some Madelines. We got some Madelines. Looking good. It's looking. This is amazing. I am so excited. This is my mom's favorite cookie. Madelines. The Madelines. And you've never loves... made them before? I've never made them. She made them. <laughs> my mom's never made them. My mom doesn't cook. My dad cooks. Oh. Yeah, in my house. Progressive. You, in my house, you go to mom for the car advice. You go to dad for the sewing and the cooking. Listen. I kid you not. Latvians yeah. are on another level, guys. <laughs> oh, it's Janet Jackson. I'll we'll never do it without you. Oh man, I watched Poetic Justice again recently. Is that? Is that? A Have thing you ever seen that movie? I have not watched this. Movie. Oh. oh, oh, you got it. It's uh, Janet Jackson and Pac, and. Uh, Pac is in movies. He was in a couple. Oh, you know what? I believe you. Right. Once oh, again. Oh, I'm I'm such a fan. Despite this shirt, I really, <laughs> I'm really big too. <laughs> it's true. I'll be sure to tell him. I'll tell him. Well, they say he's still alive, I know Pac, but I, I don't know. believe no. it. He lives in um, lives in Atoka. <laughs> Rexdale, to be more. Uh, All right. You just want to let these cool before you, you don't want them to be, uh, you want to eat a madeleine when they're warm. You don't want a madeleine to be like a couple days I old or anything. I'm doing the, you are? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so yeah, you want to eat these pretty darn hot. So we're going to make some tea and then we're going to go sit and enjoy. So yeah. we'll be back in a second. Hold on. Yeah. All right. So uh, we have a beautiful plate. Of Madeline's. Look what we did. Oh my god. Today. So this happened. I this actually, just happened. We just did this, yeah. 
it took what like an hour tops Maybe. just because we were talking so much like, exactly that was the whole and we have our tea this uh nice we out here making nice. shit happen mine yeah. says it's decorative gourd season motherfucker <laughs> this is chocolate chai this yeah. is very you may not want give it a minute or we're gonna burn our mouths but um for. the madeleine turned out great we have the little crack in the top which you should have the old pattern on the bottom. Yeah, there we go. And then the, ooh, pattern, the shell yeah. pattern. Oh, that's so cool. it's supposed to be like a tiny pound cake. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed so, to be like a cake. It's kind it's of hard. Little, it's kind yeah. of like a biscotti almost, but like not as. So it should be chewy in the center. Hopefully it is. Yeah. Um, but if not, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I we think bonded. We'll survive. Exactly. I think uh, there's I more danger in me dying from licking the bowl later. But you still can. And you can dip it in your tea if you want. Oh, this is great. Mm. This is great. Nice. That's a nice little, nice little cookie. I'm a weirdo in that my first instinct is to like dip this in soy sauce. It's... <laughs> I have some. <laughs> Let's not do that. Why? Let's not do that on camera. No, that's... No, but this is like... You've got to eat this warm. Over sure. Yeah, you cannot do because it gets so dry if it cools too long. Because it's like a dense little thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we use coconut sugar, so that could possibly affect. I think that worked out though. But I really like it because I've had Madeleines that are infinitely sweeter, but yeah. you just load up with more. Yeah, no, I think this is a good balance because it's not too sweet. Exactly. You know, and uh, that's a nice little treat. Yeah, this you know? is the sort of thing you eat with something else. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. yeah, like a nice cup of tea. Yeah, and a nice friend. Mm. And there we go. Yeah. No, we were saying that there's a lot of coconut products in my apartment, yeah. which I wasn't aware of. Kelly's out here. She's the coconut god for some reason. You like, know what? I have coconut body lotion in my bedroom. <laughs> listen. <laughs> so. Coconut industry owes yeah, you. Yeah, they owe me so huge. Much. Yeah, yeah. But you were saying I should put on my my online dating profile oh, yeah, yeah. that I love coconut and nineties rap. Nineties rap and coconuts. The swipe I'll be rates. Married will, yeah, instantly. yeah, so yeah. fast. They'd be like, "Hey, you want to <laughs> live in Barbados?" Like, <laughs> well, it would be one up from the guy who asked me if I wanted to move to Mississauga with him <laughs> on the first date. You want to move in, but also yeah, in Mississauga. In Mississauga, with his four children, each of whom had a different mother. Who is who is this? We he, never saw each other. Are you sure again. he wasn't just trolling you? I, I don't know. You know what? No, I take that it's back. Possible. That, I've heard I don't think I've so. heard way worse stories. <laughs> <laughs> and in my head, I'm always like, "This is too ridiculous." Somebody's trolling you, and then people are like, "No, no." And mm, then I meet no. these people. I'm like, "All right, there are ridiculous humans in the world." They really are. They're ridiculous These humans. Are super good. That just spend the Monday afternoon making Madeline. Madeline's putting it on the internet. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I think this turned out fine. Yeah, I'm super happy. It's very tasty. Yeah, it's on a nice retro plate. <laughs> Mustard yellow retro plate. Yeah. Uh, which you can see a picture of if you head to my Instagram, uh, which is the Latvian foodie. Plug, plug, plug. Are you on the Instagram? I, I am on the IG. You can find me at Cliff Knight Comedy. Anywhere else, you'll find me. Um, I am not just all, anywhere. It literally... He just shows up. Yell my name into <laughs> the lake. I'll show up. I'll show up. I'm going to try that. I'm not always eating stuff. Like, sometimes I'm, <laughs> sometimes I'm telling jokes. Sometimes I'm petting dogs. But, uh, you know. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> He's not eating. Bang a dog. Yeah, bang a dog. Yeah. Never, never uh, you know. There's a dog stuff. behind us. He's so cute. And my first Oscar. Yeah, <laughs> it. it's Oscar the Grinch. <laughs> my 30th birthday party, I had everyone make a movie. I rented out the National Film Board, which you can't do anymore. It's gone. No. I think it's a pizza place now, which is really sad. But rented out the theater, and any guests who came had to make a movie where the theme was 30, and I handed out Oscars. 
Because I was born on an Oscar night. That's so it's funny. It's themed. That's so funny. You were born on an Oscar night. I was. I was so born you're... the year that Annie Hall won Best Picture. Did your parents give an acceptance speech? Um, no, I think my mom cursed a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. she was in labor for 48 hours. Oh, wow. Me. I did. And I was born on a Monday. That's when they had an Oscar on Mondays. Mm. The 70s were weird. So weird. Can you imagine? It's super weird. Can you imagine, like, being at work and then going home and watching an award show? That, for some reason, that just makes me feel a lot worse about my own life. Well, I work at a restaurant, and I tend to work weekends, so I do sometimes come home to watch an award show. I mean the general public. People who aren't, right. you know, of strong mind, like you, you know, like... <laughs> I don't know how much longer I'll be then. <laughs> this is walking one day. I am of strong mind. I don't need to work I'm here. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Strong mind and low income. <laughs> um, it's all right. Just like all the Jedi, so... I do love Return of the Jedi mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Empire Strikes Back. I still have my pop-up book. I have a, I have a Phantom Menace pop-up book with sounds. Oh, but yeah. do you have this? All done. Okay. Oh, wow. So, from my most popular TMZ appearance, because um, I'm on TMZ Live now and then, I brought up this book once. I made Van laugh so hard, it just charmed my heart. But you can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. I'm still single. <laughs> Um, and I can bake. Anyways. Yeah, no, this... There we go. We yeah. need to get Kelly a date. That'll be episode three of it. It'll be fine. You can have, like, a bake. That's what you <laughs> should totally do. Put it on your Tinder. Because, like, people <laughs> advertise their show on their Tinder all the time. They do. And you'd be like, listen. They do. The date is, come bake something with me, and we're going to record it to find out if we're compatible. That's, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like you'll get a lot for that. There's gonna be so you're gonna get a lot of comics for sure. People are gonna swipe right and be like spot, spot, spot. But uh <laughs> I I should. just single male comics. Yeah, just, just people coming in my apartment on people a coming from Brantford <laughs> to bake stuff with you. <laughs> and see if we're compatible. Yeah, yeah. To see if you're compatible. And if not, you have a yummy treat to take home. Exactly. If you don't enjoy yourself, yeah. at the very least, uh Kelly won't poison you maybe. Um, maybe. I've never poisoned anyone. So far, huh? The night's young. Yeah. It's only about four o'clock. The <laughs> night is young. I, by that, I mean the afternoon. <laughs> it's nighttime in Latvia. It's, uh, oh, yeah. oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, They're uh, seven hours ahead. Do, 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 uh, that's your main base? That's my go-to now. Do people, people actually watch the show from that day? I have no idea. You should, you should. I just went there for the first time. You should so. market it, it to them. I'm pretty sure they'd be like... Um, I will hashtag it. I have some friends from Kazakhstan that make shows here, and they export it directly to Kazakhstan. Really? Where it's, it's kind of like the flex. It's an untapped market. Where, where people come here, oh. uh, they come to the States, and then they just start making like travel log videos, but oh. like with no substance at all. <laughs> It's just to show, <laughs> hey, I live in North America, and there's cool stuff here, and oh my god, look at my hair. That's literally it. Yeah. It's such a big, it's such a yeah. big market. I wanted to make one and send it back to like my Guyanese friends. You should. And be like, oh, watch it, no boy. Um, them does drive on the wrong side of the road and thing, and me building, me building ain't got no, ain't got no pool and thing, but. My friend them, I go over by my friend them, drink little rum, swimming at the pool, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bad yeah. man things, yeah? <laughs> Bad man swimming at the oh. pool. See, Latvian accents aren't, aren't cool. They don't sound cool like that or anything, you, you know? Like, it's a hard language, yeah, yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a you separate, know? like, Slavic language, isn't it? It's got its own thing, because it was under communist rule till the 90s, right. but they kept their... their you know, heritage. I like how yeah. this is they make like a, good a, off, a baking and politics show. That's anything possible. <laughs> baking, Star uh, Wars, Tinder, politics. Nineties pop. You've got to watch. You've got a movie. You've got to watch. Poetic movie, justice. justice. If you've not watched it, it's fantastic. Leave it in the comments below. Your first. <laughs> it's your, so good. Your, your favorite scene uh, from Poetic Justice. If uh, you've seen it. Oh, I know my favorite scene. 
Don't, no spoilers. Spoil no spoilers. It. No, it's so to. good. It's so good. There's so many uh, things to watch. I like, love Tupac. Right now I'm watching. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just love that. Just with the T. I love Tupac. I love Tupac. Uh, put up your, your pinky. You know, I actually enjoy the stylings of one Monsieur Shakur. Uh, I just read his poetry book recently. I rose from concrete. Sorry, I must seem very white. No. No. I, and you know what? No, yes, yes. But also, no. It, we live in an interesting time where... Most of the people I know who like really fuck with like early 80s and 90s yeah. rap, still a lot of white people. Like, versus, yeah. like, you'd expect a lot of like hip hop heads. Like, a lot, a lot of my black friends really Ooh. love the new age of hip hop. Not mm-hmm. just because it's like better music, it feels mm-hmm. like more representative of mm. them. Okay. Whereas a lot of people who still love like old 80s and 90s rap, it's just like it's mostly because you grew up with that and they were cultural mm-hmm. phenomena of the yeah. time. Everybody I know who also grew up with that, but also really loves new rap, is usually because like the message is changing in rap, mm-hmm. and they've listened to a lot more of that than mm-hmm. just like, oh, this is good music. Yeah, that's what I've been finding. Huh. Yeah, fair, fair point. Like, like we started studying. Hey, go check out Good Night uh, with a K uh, if you want some yeah. comedy rap. Uh, mm-hmm. We're we're working on some new songs. Amazing. Because uh, my partner, Mark Goodman, go check him up. He is coming back next week. We're going to do some shows. Nice. And then we're going down to New York to do some shows there as well. I'll be it's in New York a... in November. Awesome. I, I won't be. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's great, Kelly. Yeah. No, uh, follow Kelly. Follow me. Uh, I'm, in November, I'm going to be in Montreal. Not literally. For the Montreal grant. No, don't follow people. My God, use your technology. Follow, like, a smart person. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're both in Montreal, Grand. Oh, yeah? Now, what date are you doing? I'm doing November 2nd. November, the week after. You're doing the the, the 8th, I think. Yeah, because it's too much for Montreal to have us both on the bill. I think so, that's what it is. Uh, I originally had the 8th, but I haven't... I feel like we're going to eat the whole plate of these. I I would. Like I I said, I was was like legit hungry. But like I said, I'm... I can make you a sandwich. I'm so weird in that with this, like this is... This is so weird. I feel... I feel obligated to like bust open a can of like Vienna sausages and eat this. Like, you know what? I don't means? have those. No, you wouldn't. They're not kosher. <laughs> I'm not Jewish. I know, I know. I'm Latvian. <laughs> there are Latvian Jews. No, it's like a, it's just I'm just like, Latvian so and Protestant. Just <laughs> and Lutheran. Multicultural. Yeah. I thought about becoming a nun, but I don't know if we're allowed to be. Are what? there any Protestant Lutheran nuns? <laughs> There must be. It's there's one. There, she just doesn't have a big following there yet. There must be. Like all of the things exist. I'm kidding. I don't want to become a nun. Don't do it. Don't all do right. it. I don't think uh, they're allowed to use other. Well, I should get the sign as we sign off. This is My, great tea, by the way. This is. It's chocolatey chai from President's Choice, our unofficial sponsor of this week's episode. <laughs> But thanks for coming to my apartment thanks and baking. For, thanks yeah, for watching, guys. Me tea and it'll, all that. it'll be fine, and it was fine. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was better than fine. It was, it was so good. good. Chocolate mac- macaroons, Madeline's. Madeline's. I don't know what we made. We made Madeline's. something. Anyways, bye. bye. <laughs>